ultimately the the way that the universe collided was I was later to learn and I certainly didn't know that day that the woman the mother that my client killed was John's wife yep at one point in the courtroom they said they wanted 15 to life yes they did mm -hmm. yes they did so at that point no negotiations I try to get him to 10 nothing 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 so we are they want bare minimum 15 yeah it, it's 15 it's like 15 it basically I got the you know yeah go ahead and we walk into trial and the first time that we're picking a jury and I remember exactly the last courtroom on the fourth floor I walk in and and I knew that I was gonna spend the next week or two weeks in that courtroom and I was going to be eyeball to eyeball with John and his family. And I had my client's family on one side. And this is like a wedding. We got the friends of the bride, friends of the groom on both sides of the deal. And all of a sudden, you know, I, I, I had I, the right thing to do is, you know, I, I can't ignore John. And I probably should have said something earlier to him in the case. But I was hoping that we'd be on and past it. Because there is nothing more uncomfortable than face-to-face -face talking to the person that lost their, their, their wife their son, their daughter, and your client killed them. Because you don't have a whole lot of credibility. Mm -mm. And you're not the good guy. As far as the family goes, generally, you're the scoundrel that's trying to keep the murderer out of prison where he or she deserves to be. Mm -hmm. And that was me.